Today we're going to try to open a radio from a 2013 Cadillac ATS to try to replace the digitizer. Alright, so it looks like it's on there pretty good. So we have access to it from the back. Looks like we have a couple of screws that go there. And it looks like they're all seven millimeters. So we're gonna use a seven millimeter and drive these out. And see what we get. And you always want to put these screws in a nice, safe location. I'm going to just throw them inside this box that we just got for the digitizer. Make sure we don't lose them. All right, so right away, it looks like these are going to come off. Sweet. That's one. And there's the other one. Let's put that to the side. All right, and it looks like we have a series of screws around here. All over the radio. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes. We might have to go inside and do this. Loosened up all the screws. We'll see what we get right now. Just don't want to drop any screws. I want to make sure I have all the screws in a good safe location. So you can see, all the screws are gone. All of them. So now, boom, cover comes right off. Alrighty then, so now to get access to the digitizer, we need to tear it apart even more. Yay. All right, it looks like I'll be removing all these screws from up here, all the way around. And let's see if this comes off. All right, I was able to remove all the screws, but one. Uh, it looks like this is the ejection tray for this one here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to power it up Looks like this is going to be the power. Plug it in real quick. And... Try to balance it. Open this. Are you going to open? How do you open? How do you open? There it is. And that gave us access, so now I'm gonna unplug the radio once again. There it is, unplugged, opened, and now we have access. Sweet. So let me go ahead and remove this final screw, and we'll see where it gets us from there. All right, it's loose, and here it comes. And you can see that the digitizer is right back there. So you just want to be gentle with this and be careful. Go ahead and be careful and open it up. All right, and turning it upside down, you could tell that there's a screw right there. So to get that screw, oh yo yo, to get that screw, um, that's a good question. Let me figure this one out real quick. All right, it appears that there's three screws, so these are the culprits right there. If it likes to focus, there's one right there, and there's another one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen those up, and that means the middle one. Yeesh. I have to figure out. All right, so what I had to do was remove all the screws that were right here, right there. Uh, Loosen up the ones that are in. Where is it at? 
there it is. Loosen that one up. That one right there. If it wants to focus, kind of a little bit. And on the other side. And then I removed this little pigtail from there. And this was able to release. All right. Now, we have access to that stupid bottom screw. There it is. And our little ribbon. So this is a must process. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the final screw fully. Been saying that for like ever. Go ahead and remove this real quick. Gosh, I'm gonna need both hands. All right, I undid the screw and off came the little ribbon, but it just slides right into there. It's gonna be a hassle to get it back in. Uh, now I just have this final screw that I just put in there just to hold it in place. So we're gonna remove that real quick. All right, I went ahead and removed it. Let me flip this around. And here it comes. Here comes the digitizer. And just be careful. There it is. You don't want to get the screen dirty. Now we're going to replace the digitizer. All right, so here's the old one. Here's the new one. Brand new. Sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these sticky side and slide it into place. All right, once you have the digitizer into place and the ribbon pull through, go ahead and put in the screws that hold the digitizer back into place. All right, once you have the digitizer locked in with all the screws, you're gonna use a pair of needle nose you real quick you're gonna use the needle nose to grab the end and just drive it in there close the flap make sure it's in there all right now we're gonna give it a try and see if it works I connected it and it didn't work more than likely it's because it needs this other motherboard to read um, Thinking of just taking it off to see if it would work. Oh, this is just one screw. Let me go ahead and take it off real quick. All right, instead of taking it apart, I'm gonna just put it all back together. Put it back. I'm gonna connect this little pigtail. Sweet. I'm gonna just put a couple of screws just to hold it in place. That way it doesn't come off and ruin anything. All right, I plugged it in. And we're gonna see if this fires up right now. All right, I went ahead and plugged everything back in and closed this little door here. And now the moment of truth. Let's see if this digitizer works. It works. Sweet. Now we're able to change the radio. Right now we don't want no music though. Uh, volume. Because we don't want to get monetized. But beautiful, it's working now. Oh, lovely. Very lovely. Oh, my boss is gonna be happy with me. Hopefully he gives me a race. Hopefully he watches this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we gotta put everything back together now. <laughs> all right, once you have all the screws back into place, that secures the top layer with the bottom layer. You're gonna go ahead and insert the cover for the rear and put in all the screws that go all around the base all right once you have the whole cover back into place you just have these side little trims these side trims just simply go like that and like this on this other side and it simply takes four screws all right, once you have your screws into place, you're just gonna drive them in. You're gonna drive them in with a seven millimeter socket. There it is. Sweet. There it is, stereo's complete now. And that's how you replace the digitizer on a 2013 Cadillac ATS. 
sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.